Okay, so to begin with, you will need to decide where you want to put your humidifier. In fact, before you even order one of these, you should go down to your basement and look and see if you can even put it anywhere if it fits. It's kind of bulky, as you can see. I've decided to put it here. It's going to not quite fit exactly, but I'll, I'll make it go in there. So our options were either here, or we could have put it here, which is not a good thing because it's slanted a little bit, so that's actually out of the question. Up here, I would have had to move some of these pipes, and it's not very convenient. Over here would have been okay, but then the door, when you open the door, it would kind of be hitting it. You can't open the door all the way. So we concluded that the best spot would be over there. So we're going to put that here. And we're going to put the round duct into there. And then you also have to decide where you want to put the round duct from here. And since it stretches out, it's up to 10 feet. This is 6 inch diameter, 10 foot flexible pipe. I've decided that I'm going to go from here. And I'll probably go up and over and go in actually over this one right here since this is a hot exhaust pipe I probably don't want to be touching that I'll go up and over and I will plug it into here like that and then you also have to decide where you're gonna put your saddle valve the self-piercing saddle valve that comes included with that humidifier kit. So this needle pierces it in, makes a hole in the pipe, and then you back it back out. And it's meant to be either fully closed or fully open. It's not meant to regulate. And that's best to put on the hot side of the water heater, not the cold side. I've decided to put mine probably like right there. Also, the maximum temperature of your water heater should be 140. Especially if you're using the plastic tubing like I am. Mine's set to about 125, so I should be fine. Okay. So then to start with, you take this very important template that I mentioned earlier. And this is going to be pretty much almost the same, the same measurement as the hole in the humidifier. So this is your template. You can literally put it on here and trace it with a permanent marker. And as you can see, the edges, see how they're coming out a little bit? That's what I said earlier, that it wasn't the perfect fit. It would be nice if this was a little wider or if I could put it on that side. But I have a wall here, so this is the most convenient place I can put it for myself. So I got this template taped on here. As you can see, the edges are sticking out, but we'll deal with that later. Make sure it's level, then you just trace it. Yep. Yeah, you definitely want to tape it, otherwise this thing's going to be moving all over the place on you. Okay. Let me take this template off. And voila. Now that's what we're going to have to cut. To start out with, I'll just use my 3 quarter inch drill. Make a hole so I can stick my snips in there. Just anywhere. I'll go here. That should do it. And then you just start snipping away. Or if you have something easier to use, go ahead and use that. Okay, so I got this giant hole cut out. Next thing you do is take out the hose, take out the actual water panel so you can see right through it, and you measure. 
see how well you cut it out. And as I suspected, it's not wide enough. So I'm gonna have to snip it here, snip it there, snip it there, snip it there, and push them out a little bit, and then I think I should be able to get it in. So finally done with the hole. I peel back the two sides. Doesn't look very pretty, but it'll do. Um, I'll put sheet metal tape or silicone. We'll see. So now this thing goes in all the way. Looks like that. And then I will put this sheet metal back on there as much as I can before I silicone it. And there's four screw holes. One here, one here, one here, one here. There's a couple on the sides too, but since I'm kind of an inconvenient location here, I can't use those. I'll just use the two on top and two on bottom. Hopefully you won't have to do this at your place. So let's get started. Okay, and since I had the two big holes in the sides, I put a piece of sheet metal on this side, rubbed it on really well, and a piece of metal, sheet metal tape on that side. And then I'll silicone all the outside as well. And then after that, you're gonna wanna get your round duct. I already stretched mine out, as you see. And then you just put one end in here, approximately. And then you just, unfortunately I had to stretch it like this, kind of a mess, but. Yeah, you stretch it out up to here, measure it where you wanna put it. I wanna put it right there. I already traced the circle. And then I'm just gonna cut the circle out and then I'll be able to put this duct on as well. So I had to fold this duct back up because I have to reach my hand in here to fold these little teeth in. So I took it, and it was actually very easy to cut. I cut the ends of this with scissors into flaps and then I'll be screwing screws into a couple of these, maybe three or four screws. So let's fold all these in for now. I'm basically folding all those teeth on the inside of the duct. Okay, and I kind of forgot to film, but next up, anyway, that's the order I'm going. You can go whatever order you want. I put in the saddle valve. I accidentally forgot to completely unscrew it, so I poked a hole in the pop copper pipe so I screwed this in and I also turned off the cold water supply to keep the water out until I can put this tubing on. And then on the tubing I put the insert in the tubing and then the ring and then the nut. So I'll screw this in and it'll compress the nut make a compress compressed fitting. So that's where I'm at and then I'm gonna um, loop this hose around all that ductwork and to the humidifier. All right, so we got the bypass in, and we got the needle nose. I already screwed it in all the way and then unscrewed it all the way to get the water supply going. I connected the line over here, tightened that up, up to the water valve, and then now I just need to connect the electrical and also put in the humidistat or the controller. I'll probably put it right over here. It should be on the return at least six inches upstream of the humidifier or the bypass entrance depending on where you put your humidifier on the supply plenum or the return. So I'll be putting mine here. Um, the instructions of how to put it on come with the actual thing. And at the end they have a handy little template if you don't want to measure stuff. You just line that up, trace the hole cut it out with your snips or whatever you're using and just put that thing in. This is what it looks like right here. By the way, the saddle valve, the needle nose valve, or the needle valve I should say, has instructions on the bag of how to put it on as well. Um, so here's the control. The knob just slides off. Then you take it apart. There's the gasket. You could take the gasket off for now. And then there's four, four holes right here. You put your sheet metal screws through there. 
So I'll be screw cutting out a hole and then just putting that in here. The humidistat's in. Uh, next, we're gonna just do all the wiring, starting from the transformer. I'll just punch one of these knockouts out, then I'll spin it in here, and hook up the low, vo low voltage wires to here. And that's where we're gonna get our 24 volt feed. It would be nice if I could put it on that side, but I would have to move the water heater for that, and of course we don't wanna do that. So, that's what we're doing next. Okay, so we screwed the transformer in, that's in there snug. Sometimes you get lucky and there's a neutral wire nut here and then a hot wire nut, so the black and white. This time, I'm not quite as lucky. Um, I could put the black in here, but the neutral I'll stick through here and I'll have to tie it into probably this wire nut right here. Alrighty, so I put the black wire up in here on the top one which means that when the switch is off, that'll kill the power to the humidistat as well. Or to the transformer, I should say. And then I put the neutral into the neutral bundle inside the control box in the furnace. So let's put all this back together and proceed with the wiring. Okay, so I don't know why, but I thought two wire would be a good idea. But actually, really, all you, could, all you need is just a single low voltage wire. So I ended up just using one of them, as you can see, and then the white one I just clipped off and the red one on this one. So then I tied them into here. These two wire nuts go to this current sensing relay. This is what's gonna tell the humidifier to turn on when the blower comes on. I put it on the neutral wire on the blower motor. And then that ties in. I kind of went down here. Two wires oh, up and around. And then it goes into the water valve, right here, and then to the controller from there. Yep, and then we'll just put the lid on. And then I will tuck these wires away a little bit later. And then I also installed the drain line. I had to return to one I had because it was 10 foot, not long enough, so I cut off. 13 feet of this kind and it goes up and around and I zip tied it to the existing AC condensate drain line because this one was twirling up and away to the floor drain and that is it there is the finished result I put the cover on turned the damper to winter I bent this accidentally whoops Water lines open, got it all wired up, and ready to go. All right, so we got it all installed, and to try it for the first time, it's still warm out, so I'm sure it's humid in the house. I'll probably have to turn it on to the max. There it goes. It just clicked. And I had it on previously, but you can already see the water draining. I'll just take this off. And then you can't really see it, but I can. <laughs> you can see water trickling down the panel. Here's the distribution supply, I mean. And then there's distribution holes in there. About six of them. And then the water goes in, trickles down the panel, and then drains out here. And then we got the air from the supply plenum coming here and blowing it through, putting the moisture back into the system, thus humidifying the whole house. Pretty nice. Looking forward to not having a dry nose anymore.